it's a it's a total mess. People have been swept away. Business have been ruined. Lives have been lost. It's been flooded before, but this is completely insane. And there was probably 12 or so houses out on Ezell Beach that are no longer there. We don't know where we go from here. This season had trouble written all over it right from the beginning. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I must say the news isn't good. No, it's not good. We expect an above average number of named storms. We saw what was going to happen, and that's why we use such strong language to alert people where we forecast an extraordinarily active season, a supercharged season with 20 to 25 named storms and four to six U.S. impacts. Three words, Gulf of Mexico. That's how I'm gonna remember the hurricane season. Why? Because that's where we had all the impacts. We had five hurricane impacts in the Gulf of Mexico, including the upper Texas coast with Barrel. Then we had Debbie, then we had Francine, then we had Helene, and then we had Milton. And when you look at the season and you see the amount of damage and total economic loss, we're talking about $500 billion. So much of it was water damage from a tremendous storm surge that occurred during many storms right at the coast right at the coastline and near the coastline, and then significant inland flooding. The season had started active, then we had that long lull. But this year, quiet. In fact, it was the longest stretch since 1968 where no new named storms had developed for a several week time period. AccuWeather hurricane experts issued our first track and intensity forecast for Francine 24 hours before the government and any other source to provide people, businesses, and governments with valuable extra advance notice. It's landfall of uh, Hurricane Francine occurring right when the AccuWeather forecast projected it. AccuWeather was also the only source to most accurately forecast that Francine would intensify into a Category 2 hurricane prior to making landfall across Louisiana. Helene was a truly historic storm. It will go down as one of the most uh, disastrous hurricanes in U.S. history. The sheer size of Helene and how it intensified didn't surprise us because we, we anticipated that was going to happen. Major hurricane continuing to intensify by all indications and we're concerned about a variety of, of serious catastrophic impacts right at the coast and inland in the coming days. We were the only source to call Helene a catastrophic flooding disaster across parts of the Southern Appalachians. A catastrophic risk. That just shows you the urgency and how concerned we are about how dangerous this flooding situation can get across the portions of the Southern Appalachians where rain may fall at two to four inches per hour. It's too fast, too furious in the steep terrain. We're talking about roads and bridges that may be washed out and in fact communities which may not be able, which may be isolated for days. We d use that wording specifically to help people, businesses, and governments understand just how dangerous and how unique and how serious the situation was going to be inland. It resembled a tsunami that just knocked everything down in its path. We lost everything, family, friends, homes, our jobs, everything, our animals. We have nothing. We got family members floating down a river. It's a mess, man. There's trees down, there's water everywhere. Water's off, we don't have any power. Nobody has cash, you can't buy anything, you can't get any gas, so it's, it's a disaster. Having two major hurricane landfalls is very rare in the United States coastline within just a matter of a couple of weeks. Milton was slow. It took its time. We sounded the alarm on this well in advance as well, but we were always pretty convinced that once again, it was going to be the Florida Peninsula that would bear the brunt of yet another hurricane. Our thoughts are with the so many people whose lives were changed forever. These storms have cost hundreds of lives tragically cost hundreds of lives and impacted thousands of families. The number of storms that we had 
outside of the heart of the hurricane season is something else I'm not sure we're going to see again. So despite the fact that there have been so many negative aspects of the season, we know that the AccuWeather forecast once again saved many lives and helped people best prepare. That's what we do here at AccuWeather. That's our mission, and that's what we'll do on the next storm as well.